MC15 dot matrix repair device FA02 chip repair for XSMAX. Connect the phone to the computer. Open the I2C platform. Click read iOS info. Find and click unbind original in the bottom row of options. Tick lattice then click untie to unbind the dot matrix. Click detail at device unbinding to view the unbinding status of matrix. Use i2ccf.matrix calibrator to replace the chip for the dot matrix module. Use a heat gun to remove the dot matrix cable separately. And use a microscope to replace the chip on the dot matrix cable. Use a heat gun to remove the dot matrix cable separately and use a microscope to replace the chip on the dot matrix cable. First, use a hot air gun to remove the original chip on the cable and clean the weld pad. Take an I2C FA02 integrated chip. Align the bits and place them in the weld pads for soldering. The soldering temperature is around 300 degrees Celsius. After soldering, attach the cable to the MC15 dot matrix repair instrument for testing. After the test is normal, connect MC15 to the computer. Open the Face ID Function Repair page of the I2C platform. Click the fifth option, Cloud Burning, on the left. And after the data is burned successfully, install the cable with the soldered chip into the dot matrix module. Enter the EM3D software on your phone. Use the infrared dot matrix to test the cable. Go to the CF dot matrix calibrator for debugging. Check the 3D structured light, etc. If there is no problem, use UV glue or I2C 396 glue to glue the cable for fixation. After waiting for about one minute for the glue to dry, you can remove the dot matrix module. Connect the phone to the computer and download the EM3D software in Read iOS Info on the I2C platform. Enter the phone settings and test the face entry function. Everything is normal. Thanks for watching.